Alrighty then, welcome back to the Mofa project. Don't mind me just pulling this away. But uh, yeah, today is the Mofa project again. Ugh. Ugh, I have slept well. I'll tell you that, I slept goddamn well today. Jeez, it was actually quite nice. Also, I finished a bit of uh, concept art on the uh, angular suit for the uh, Star of Wholesomeness. Uh, quite funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no further ado, let's get started on these acts. Uh, it's a little bit of an uh, thing here and there. We need to get some coloring up and up and running so that these uh, lovely acts look a little bit less of a brownish mesh of an egg thing. I didn't get a joke correctly there. But, anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> After all, it is important that these eggs are actually quite hatched into uh, adulthood. So, uh, today we're going to be working on, you know, fixing the uh, eggs. So, next we're going to go for another color. This color is going to be underneath the, uh, underneath the red, so we should definitely do that. So, we need this one. And now we need... Uh, some lighter colors, so probably around this. Yeah. And we're gonna do this the easy way, so 24, 21, that one, and then just 3.6, there you go. So now we have the lighter color. Oh, look at that, that, that is neat, a lighter color. I like it. Quick question, does that represent? Not really. All right, we need to get another color then. Um, can we go for something like this then instead? Ah, much better. So today, what we're going to be doing now is actually, you know, adding some lighter colors into it to give it a more of a feeling towards it. So uh, yeah, I can't wait for two days to, to for three days to pass because then it's gonna be second day of Easter, right? Today's Friday, then Saturday, and Sunday, and then yes, and then Monday is gonna be second of Easter. Yeah, cannot wait for the going. I am very very excited to get some good old fashioned Chinese food in my belly. And why did I switch to this color? I have no idea. Why did it go that way? I have no idea. Should not been should not have been that, but uh Ooh. But uh yeah I'm very happy upon that, you know? Seeing all this working, getting all of the colors up and running properly. And then once we're done with all these colors we can then, you know, go to the next one. And the more we do this the better it gets. And that, you know, will give us more of a feeling towards how these eggs are going to be looking anyway. So, um, yeah. I'm very excited. Especially to, uh, for Monday. Because I can finally get some of the good old-fashioned food in my belly that is actually full of soy sauce. And I love soy sauce. Alright. Um, so, today... Two colors probably gonna be done. Hopefully three. Depends on the situation. I I what I wanted to do now is actually you know get uh, the main two lighter colors in there, and then once we have the lighter colors done, we can then you know get the darker colors in and then you know move that onwards and onwards until you know we have all the drawing colors in there. To represent the X. Um. After that, we can move on to the grass, and then you know, fit, and then use the grass to overlap with the egg, and then you know, create a shading on the uh, on the grass to give the egg more a natural feeling towards it itself, and then you know that moves onwards as uh, as well. The main issue right now is that you know, um, the main issue now is that we need to fix on the uh, fix, uh, make sure that the eggs are correctly done, and then that is. Probably gonna be taking one more round of draw uh, coloring, and then uh, that should be it. It could be that I need to go a little bit earlier. Depends on the situation. Depends on the time. Uh, 
But, uh, yeah. I'm excited because that L is also very important. Why I'm needle leaving? Well, it might be happening that uh, I'm finally be able to record the... Uh, well, technically it's not a recording, but still discount as it. What is then Briefing? Briefing? Telling. Yes, telling. I finally succeeded in uh, uh, finishing the chapter, the uh, chapter zero of the East Sky of Awesomeness, so therefore, you know, it's now finally fully completed. And uh, I'm very happy upon that because of the... Uh, how do you say that? Because of the main issues that I had with it. There you go. And because we fixed it, it's actually quite nice. We fixed the uh, we fixed the goddamn drawing. Oh well, we fixed the goddamn. Oh, I fixed it. Um, I fixed the goddamn uh, issue with the grammar issue. I fixed the uh, lines that didn't work well, and I finally fixed the conversations that they were a little bit too choppy. It's like you speak this. Yes. Then we speak this. Yes. Then we speak this. Yes. Have we completed the mission of speaking to each other by telling you yes? Good. Alright. So, um... Also, good news. Um, in May, I will probably attend again uh, a treaty... Uh, a treaty convention. There you go, treaty convention. And today I actually got mail, which actually says... That it actually says that I am a VIP. Ooh, very fancy. Because, I don't know if people know, but I won two years ago a prize, second prize, third prize in Belgium. About a 3D, draw, a 3D model that I made. Because, you know, that's what I did. I uh, I actually wanted to make that model because I wanted to make a D&D &D model and I didn't want to pay for the D&D &D model. So therefore I made my own D&D &D model and therefore, you know... I made it, customly made it, and uh, all the things I did with it was actually worked. I, I made it in the worst possible way ever. I used a goddamn program was, which was even worse than, uh, than Microsoft Paint. And Microsoft Paint is a decent uh, equipment if you want to do sprites, but oh boy, don't try to do the Photoshop thing when you have Microsoft Paint. It is sometimes a pain in the ass to work around with. This is why I also you. This is why I also went to Krita because Krita is like Microsoft Paint. It's very easy to understand what the hell you need to do. Like, oh no, I need to draw on the same layer. Done. I can no longer draw here. I need to draw only on the paint that I already painted. Oh no, I need to upgrade my brush. Ooh, or capacity. Ooh, or just the tools that I need, and the layers that I need. Uh, yeah, that was the most very nice thing about Microsoft Paint, and then, you know, the other one came, and it was like, meh, I don't like it, meh, it's not cool enough, doesn't work well with sprites, doesn't work well. You couldn't change the colors by just, you know, using the eraser. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, increased the amount of, uh, I increased the, uh, I, well, I didn't increase, but I... Uh, I got the VIP ticket for it. Uh, it is a VIP ticket that actually technically needs to be like... Uh, I got invi inv invited. And I have no clue what the hell is going to be happening then. Because I am just a person who doesn't even know what the hell I normally supposed to do when I see a VIP ticket. So I was like, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Why are you asking me to come along as a VIP? I was not in. I was not, uh, I was not under the assumption that, you know, winning second prize would be causing me to VIP, but apparently they liked my speech. Now to think of it, uh, my speech was actually quite of the most silliest speech ever, but hey, you know, it's like, why did you make this? And, uh, and I said to the guy, well, I didn't want to pay for this, and therefore I made this, and it was a pain in the ass to make. And uh, this was the last result. This is the best thing I could do. And then their PC crashed when they tried to upload the program, uh, the file because it was too big. And they had to bring on the bigger PC. They had to bring on a gaming laptop. And I was like, ah, 
Yes. Problem. <laughs> because I overdesigned it. Who would have thought me overdesigning stuff? Ah. Well, if you ever met if you ever met me, then you probably would already notice like, ah yes, you overthink things? Yeah, I overthink things when things uh, when things go bad. I also overthink things when I want to tr create things, and therefore, you know, the simplicity of the things that I try to create are gone. And that can cause a major issue sometimes. Because sometimes you need to take a breather. And with uh, 3D models, you know, it's, it's different. It's like a hate and love relationship when I used that program. It was like, I don't like you, you don't like me, and now we need to get along. Great. Absolutely lovely. I can't wait to see this all play out. Of course, I definitely hated the, every single gut of it, but, uh, you know, I used the program nonetheless. I created the designs, I created Mr. Hank, which is, ju is, which is like a big giant uh, mammoth. So that's always great. And uh, allow me to... Uh, I'll, I'll put it on. I'll, I'll put the CV on so that you can see what I mean. And you guys can see it as well. It's a PowerPoint presentation, probably. Don't know if I can actually... Uh, I don't know if I can watch that. I think I can. Don't know if I can, but I hope I can. And then you can see also the 3D models in it. Which is quite funny. But yeah, I made this... I made the, I made the goddamn thing and that was actually funny. So making CVs is great. And then, you know, making a PowerPoint presentation upon your CV itself is actually also great. Of course, you don't use the things that you normally use, but you use the things that you already have. And, uh, well, you know, things right down like this. Oh, I forgot one? Damn, I forgot one. Oh, good for me to know, because that is the thing that I don't, don't like to lose. Thank you very much. I'll clean this. Now that one is correct, and now the rest is all good. All right, good. Now we also need to fix this bit. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it the easy way out. There you go. Now nobody will know that I left this one open. All right. Um. Now we can continue. Oh, I did this on the wrong. Lane. I did this on the wrong. Lane. Oh well, my bad. Bip 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 bip. And pip. Did I do that on the wrong lane? I didn't do that one on the wrong lane. I only did that one on the wrong lane. All right, fine. Now we're gonna do it on the right lane. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. So this is the thing, right? No, this is the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here, and then we're gonna break it up, like so. There you go. All right. Nice. Lovely. Looking lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. All right. Now we're going to continue with our whatever we wanted to do in the first place, which is coloring. So, um, yeah, the main issue that I had with that was like, you know, the CV was a bit big and uh, it was not always representing the right way because some people could not load it in and some people could load it in. And then therefore, you know, that CV was too difficult. So I went to Word and I was like, all right, Word, give me your best shot. How can I make this look nice? And so, you know, the CV was absolutely horrible at the beginning. It's like, do I want to make a CV that just that shows, pa uh, so shows pa pages of text? Of course not. Nobody has time for that to read. <laughs> so I was like, you know, looking on the internet on a sill, on a sill, um, on a SIL website, I believe. No, not SIL website. SIL U uh, YouTube uh, information channel. So, people that uh, know how to advertise your content and be like, Hey, you want to know how to advertise your own content and how to sell your product? Well, here it is. And I was like, alrighty then, this is information I need. I need to sell myself. So, therefore, you know, this is very helpful information. And so I did. I actually went on... Uh, following the tutorials of step-by-step -step on how to make a Microsoft Word document properly, and then I learned how to do the, the fancy stuff with it, and be like, ooh, yeah, 
And then I could say to everybody like, hey dudes, check out my CV, it looks fancy. And people would be saying like, oh man, that looks fancy indeed. So therefore, you know, everything went quite well. And uh, yeah, it took way too long, but uh, that is also why the CV that the, the company that I'm now working at is like, we want you. Why? Because you stand out. Yes, that's how the CV worked. Then the CV did its job. It it tells you what I'm good at. It tells you what I'm bad at, and it tells me how the hell do I go to how the hell do I fix that situation? And that's the important part. The situation? No, no, no. The uh, the how the hell do I fix things? Because it is always important to have those things in our, in line. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did we do them all? We did not. We did do them all? Yeah, we did do them all. Alright. So now that we have done the shenanigans, we have created a second color. Ooh, a second color. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Well, it's always good to Im improve, so uh, don't mind me fixing this up. All right, I'm gonna put it a little bit lighter then. There you go. Not too shabby, not too bad. And the most important part here is that we don't forget how the hell things go. All right, good. Now we have the second color in. It might look a little bit greenish, but uh, that didn't stop me. So these are, these eggs look quite hypnotic and always green, so that's good. Uh, what we're going to do now is probably going to pick up another color just to get all the colors that we have already being a little bit less of an iffy one. So we're going to pick up another color. And we're going to pick this color up and make it very dark. Like this, yeah. Very scary dog. So now you're looking at some... Uh, you're looking at some painting, like an olive painting probably. Or a lat painting. There you go. A lat painting. That's the word I'm looking for. A lat painting. And the idea of the lat painting is that, you know, you, you can see what is written down by God's words and all that stuff. And I'm like, it's written down. Yeah. So, uh, uh huh. Does this work? Probably not. Do I want better color then? I don't want that. I want this then, right? I want another color for this, right? Yeah. I don't want to have this bluish. I want this brownish instead. It makes things more better looking. What does that. No, it does not feel right. Alright. Go deeper down then, I guess. Is that then the right color? Mm. Deeper down. That's the color. Alright, we're gonna erase everything and then we're gonna start over. Alright, let's go. So what are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to make sure that the uh, colors that are representing... What the... Why did I shoot... Oh, you little bastard. Alright, again. So, we're going to go from here. And we're going to press this line upwards. There you go. Make it more robust. Make it feel more like a true egg. a true metal egg. Oh well, crystal egg, not not metal. More like a more like a serif serifying egg, probably. But you know, it's it's always important that we have like multiple ways of thinking on how this goes. There you go. And 
and it's, uh, this one is actually the most hardest one because we now need to figure out like how do we do this and how do we get the shading up and running properly and uh, that is always a thing you know it's a very difficult one a very sneaky one so uh, yeah now you're probably wondering like how the hell do we get from point A to point B then well, we have now the second color that we need in this draw. And now we have the third color. So then, once that is done, we then go to go for the fifth, uh, for the four, uh, for the fifth color, which is going to be lighting up on the red, on the red part, and vaguing out on the red part. Uh, then after that, and that's actually the most best idea. No, not the best idea. What's what's the good word for this? It's the most easiest way for us to make sure that things go well. There you go. Better word. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to do things. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to do things when you're doing it the way you wanted to do it in the first place. Because if you now look at this, yeah, that stands out. Which is good. It stands out, and then, you know, we can vague it out if we want to, or make it a little bit less vague later on. But if we then, you know, make sure that the hypnotic red is a little bit less uh, hard to read, and you know, it is all good and all, all good and all. But it is already looking quite nice. I really like the style the the the, the eggs are going for now. It makes them more scary to look at. It's like you know, a hypnotic egg. You're like, am I gonna steal this egg? Or am I going to disturb the bird for it? Hmm. It is a precious egg. Maybe, maybe worth like 20 gold or 50 gold each. Hmm. That sounds like a deal. And then, you know, the other dude is like, Boss, we gotta get out of there. It's a, they said it was a cursed forest, you know? With all the red lights in it. It made make, make me go dizzy. Ah, shut it trying to concentrate and then you know he's like trying to grasp a look at the axe and like look Jerry look it's so magnificent it almost feels like your eyes are getting hypnotic and then the guy's like oh boy boss it is and now you're looking a little bit quite extraordinary isn't it Whoa. what do you think that the ladies are gonna ask for if we're gonna get them through the through the guards border gates hey eh? Would, they, uh, would the ladies like these things, eh? Maybe? Oh, what would they taste like then? Yeah, probably something like bacon. Or even better. Deer. Oh, deer. Now, this sounds like a lovely idea then. Why don't we then stab them all, eh? No, why don't we then just snatch them one, one or two? It's not going to be missing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how the idea is then going on, like... These bandits thinking like, yeah, they're gonna steal this egg. And then suddenly the bird shows up from the sky and I'm um, swoops around. Yeah, that's uh, that's the way. And then, you know, the bandits are running for their lives because, you know, they got, you know, too greedy. Because, you know, bandits never prosper. That's a very important thing. You're never supposed to prosper when you steal. You're not supposed to prosper when you do something bad. Otherwise, you know, the whole story won't... Uh, Otherwise, the whole story is a bad influence. I think. Probably. Eh. At least, you know, that's that's how it works in my book, always. Like. Um. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell? What did I do? Where did that came from? That came from this one. Interesting. So there's a big one here that is a little bit. Too much. Yes, and now we need to fix this up, so we're going to do that. Yes, like that. Perfect. All right, um, but the bit the bit, we need to be at the dark bit. Light, dark bit, there you go, dark bit. Mm. 
There you go. Alright, we need to get on with this. Be like this, and then, you know, up, down. And it's important that we keep up with the with the lighting and uh, all the stuff with around it. And the more we do this, the better it gets, you know? It's, it's not always the same. It's not always the same idea, but it does give the feeling of, you know, mysteriousness. So, I'll keep the rat, the hypnotic rat, but I will be able, I will fix it up so that it's a little bit more tough on the outside. So, it, it does look like it is cool looking gems. And technically these are the eggs of the bird. And then you see like the bird and it's like, ah crap. That's a big birdie. Well, you know, they like to steal stuff, so uh, you know. Eggs are great and they think that the they think that the, you know those rocks are also their eggs, probably. I don't know. Birds can be stupid sometimes. Alright, uh-huh. Now we're gonna go to fix the scary bit. Which is the last one. Don't know how long this is gonna take, but uh, I'll take my goddamn time on these things. Especially when you're trying to do your job, like, you know, trying to force... Trying to force things out of there. Um, we're now 27 minutes in. Alright, good. That means that we can maybe pull it off to get to the red part as well. And then fix up the red part as well so that, you know, it looks even better. And then we're adding some stuff in here and there. And then that will fix the goddamn problem in the first place. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to do my very job here. It's, uh, you know, coloring is uh, one of my worst key key features it's not uh, I am definitely not specializing in coloring it's a uh, it's a thing that I don't call, do normally I do silly stuff like you know designing and creating but uh, coloring oh hell no most things that I like to draw is always like black and white that's that's my favorite kind of thing to do black and white if I do any other color it's probably like uh, Color, right? I kind of forgot about that. What what does color mean? Is that a is that a thing? I need to worry about. And then you know you come to the realization that you're absolutely terrible at coloring because well you know all of the things you wanted to do in the first place is actually always bad, and that is always a thing. And I don't mind, you know, being not too good at doing the thing that I needed to do in the first place, but it does sometimes give you a little bit of an if issue when you're trying to do your very best and then you, you you just can't because, well, you're not yet fully skilled in the art of coloring. <laughs> but, you know, eventually you get the hang of it. it. Just takes time. So now that we have the black, the white, and the red... I'm gonna go to this one and then we're gonna fix it up. So, first things first, we have the ready red. We have ready a rosy red. Well, ready rosy red also needs a, a darker, darker part of ready rosy red. And this darker part needs to be influenced into the, the crystal, giving it more of a darker feeling towards it. A more hypnotic idea. A thing like, you know, if you want to touch these things, they might be very richful for the person that wants to get them. But it could also be very treachery and treacherous to collect them in the first place. Yeah, that is a knack. Also, to make also it will give the uh it will give the it will give the egg a more of a personality of like, hey, um don't try to steal me or you know Mrs. Mom is gonna come to your doorstep and gonna beat you up. Yeah, that's a thing. You know, you wanna, you wanna be, you wanna, don't wanna be around this, this fool thing. You see these axe laying around? Well, you could steal them, or you're gonna beat up, or you're gonna get some birdie bird to be flying around and say, Surprise! I'm coming from above. Agile and fast. 
and uh, you know you try to try to play cool, but uh, eventually you know you're running like a baby, like ah, mommy, save me! There is a bird chasing me. Why is it chasing you? I stole an egg. Why did you stole an egg, you dummy? And then you know the person's like, I don't know. Uh, it's it's great. It's great. It's great. So uh, yeah, don't don't steal eggs. It's uh, it's bad, especially for Easter Bunny. It's uh. It uh, it it helps a lot to uh, find them and give them back to the bunny. But uh, you know, sometimes if they're full of chocolate, and yeah, that's the time of year that you're supposed to eat them. So uh, always try to spin them around to see if they are not raw eggs. Uh, I had that once. Somebody painting a raw egg and then give it to you and say like, "Here, have an egg." And then, yeah, that is a dick move. I know. But it's a good dick move now. It's a good dick move. Painting a raw egg and then just give it to somebody. Oh, pure evil. Pure evil. I don't know what other people are going to say about it, but I say it's pure evil. And uh, that is what counts for me, at least. Alright. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was talking about eggs. I was talking about goddamn eggs. Trying to coloring the goddamn axe to make sure that the goddamn axe look nice and fancy. That is always the thing. That is the thing that I always need to do. So, um, yeah. Ooh. Well, at least we're do at least we're doing all right. You know, it's not like you know the main problem. Oh. It's not like, you know, we have a main problem right now. The main issue that we had is already solved, and I'm very happy upon that. And I'm also very happy that, you know, this uh, this drawing is now turning out a little bit better than before. The more the more we do this, the better the more the more we the more we work on this, the better it gets, and the more the better it gets, the better it goes for us in the later game. Oh hey Proton Stalker. Nice to see you around. Yeah, I'm drawing X today, if you didn't notice. It's all about axe. It's Easter and I'm drawing axe. And then you're probably wondering, like, what axe? Well, from the Morphog, of course. There you go, the big chat, the mad lad. Yeah, he needs some axe. And I thought, like, well, no, why don't why don't I make these axe? They look nice. They look like these axe are made for the Morphog in the first place anyway. That's the idea. And I like I like these axe. They, they look nice. They, they feel nice. They're, like, flaming red. They're full of nitrogen, and uh, eventually, you know, there, there will be a birdie out of it. A very creepy birdie, because, you know, birdie has, like, legs and four arms and wings that look like butterfly wings and uh, other wings on the tail, tail wings to turn better. A very adaptable predator in its natural environment. Oh well. So I hope you're doing all right. Um, let's see. Come on, get to the point there. Yes, all right. I see. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's always nice when you see these eggs. It's always nice. It's e it's Easter, man. It's it's cool looking Easter. It's uh Easter Easter. There you go. It's very Eastering. <laughs> That's the word. What do you mean it's very eastering? Yeah, it's very eastering. You know, when I saw those lights many years ago, I always remember the day when they said it was very eastering, eastering. But they they will be cute little things. Yeah, yeah, they will. It's like, you know, watching those insects grow up into abominations and then, you know, suddenly they turn into butterflies. But yeah, they will be they will be cute because they're birds, so they could not be bad. Insects can be gross, but uh birdies no. If I would make a spider though, however, then maybe people would start using a fire uh would probably use a fire a fire hose on the goddamn PC. By the way, this is not advisable and I would not recommend it in any other way. <laughs> Alright. No, 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 no. 
No, I'm just giving. No, I'm just giving the. Uh, no, I'm just giving the goddamn axe some lighting, or at least you know some cool-looking special effects, some ideas of do I really want these eggs? And then the person in your mind is like, you should grab them. You should grab them, Charlie. You should grab them and take them for your own. <laughs> Probably not that evil, but uh, uh, clearly, uh, clearly that way. But as I said before, it's always great to have these things around. All right. So, um, I hope everybody is doing well because I have well, actually quite a lovely day. The main idea, the main problem I had today was actually, you know, I'm still a little bit recovering, but uh, I have seen myself worse. And uh, tomorrow, oh uh, well, tonight I will be able to do my, uh, I will be able to read out loud my visual novel. Yeah, at Dunn's channel, so I'm very happy upon that. That's going to be also lovely. Because then I have my first chapter finally corrected i now finally have done it everything i have read it out multiple times i have done it properly and this time the story makes sense and this time the talking will make sense so therefore i won't have that problem where everything is like you know talking and saying and not talking and saying so no longer will there be too many asses uh, because that's always my problem. All right. They, uh, there is, uh, they are as unique looking as a bird that made them. Yeah. Yeah. And that is, that's the important part. The bird is the bird is special, therefore the egg's supposed to be special. It's not like you know they they actually blend in quite well in the environment. If if you look if you look at the environment already, it's like well there are crystals, so it's pretty damn hard to find out where the hell the whole the damn things are. But you know that's the thing. So now that we have done this, uh, I need to put some lighting on this. So now we need to put some lighting on it. So we need lighting and darkening. All right. Uh, this, and then that, and then this, and 75, and then that should be it. Alright, now the lighting effect as well, oh boy, that's too, that's too rough. 50 then? Nope. Alright, 72, 25, maybe. Alright, now that actually looks quite cool. I like these eggs. But I should definitely reduce the amount of lighting. No, I should definitely put the lighting into a different color, so I should go for like. I do want to have more of a red effect on it.
Strange. All right, fine. All right, let's go for something like this and then put on twenty five. Boop. Wait. Boop. 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 There you go. And now we can try this again. <sighs> um oh too many what's too many what too many what's uh uh the there is too many uh the white was too many uh the the white was too hard uh normally when you when you try to draw normally when you try to draw the uh, shading the I should not have done the shading yet but I feel like you know that's actually quite nice uh, handy dandy for later on but technically we should not have done the uh, the, the shading yet because there are some uh, there's always a thing that we could change uh, there is always a thing that maybe things will change up a bit but right now it's it's all decent so it should be fine the main issue I always have is that you know coloring can always be a pain in the ass sometimes but uh, you know I mean look at that those acts look great they are in the background, and then I can press a, then I can press this and say like, oh, you know what, you know what I want? I want a, I want a blur on it. I want a, I want a filter on it. I want a transparency. Yes, I want a filter on it, and then I can say like, well, you what you want? I want a blur on it. All right, and how much of a blur do you want? Uh, I want twenty five. I could do this if I really want to, but. What we could do is like, uh, what we could do is like a five, and then and then you know could say yes. You can see that the five is still too high. Well, we can then you know, uh, we can then you know properties and say like, oh no, it's five. Well, we want uh, we won't we won't use five. We're gonna use uh. Three, I uh, know, man. Two, maybe. One, there you go. So there is a blur now on the on the X, and the X look now quite hypnotic. If you if you look close to it, it is actually quite hypnotic to see. But the one blur does make it look nicely. So I'll keep it. All right. So, um, let me see how much time we have left. Well, we have actually completed the whole damn thing within the uh, within the hour mark that I wanted it to do. So, yes, since that we have some time left, allow me to bring up the big giant folder of doom. Um, I have no idea if this is working properly, so just bear with me, all right? Shaka boom, shaka bleem, shaka blangus. Because I was talking about, you know, the CV of mine, and uh, when things come to words, uh, I think this is the CV. No, this is not the CV. Uh, CV is then not in here. The CV is then... Uh, the CV is then in documents. All right, got it. Oh, there you go. It's CV. So we could go for the portfolio, but I wanted to show you my Word document because that's actually the most important one. So we're gonna open that with Word. Yeah, with Word. That's a good one. We're gonna open this with Word, and then you can see the big giant picture of it, and know exactly what the hell is going on. It's already a little bit old one, but uh, don't worry about it. We got this. So first things first, we're gonna save these acts because you know that's important. But as you can see, there is a lovely uh, picture of my, you know old-fashioned me and you can see all of this this is uh, how I actually did it 
I made it uh, look fancy, I made it look flashy, and it doesn't look like an original, uh, it doesn't look like an original uh, CV. It's like, you know, everything that I wanted to have in this, the linking profile, the YouTube video, uh, YouTube profile, and then, you know, the things that I have, like, you know, uh, the achievements, the uh, Google Drive, where everything is stored that needs to be represented, and the experiences, as always, in the education system. So... It's a it's a quite nice little thing, and in that thing also is a is also a a PowerPoint presentation if I'm correct. So let me just look at this just in case you know we still have some time, so I don't mind showing you. Oh boy, uh, yeah, that is gonna be a leaving a mark. Oh well, never mind, it works. So, fancy-looking address, ooh, and then we have the fancy-looking picture of Microsoft. This is absolute trash, but hey, you know. And then we have the artwork. Uh, this CV has not been updated for almost three years, so bear with me here. Yeah? But, as you can see, we have our great-looking guys. Uh, uh, we have our cool-looking scorpion that I made. My bear, me boy, and some tiki hats. And the uh, prize winning model that uh, I created uh, for the uh, where I got now to see uh, the VIP ticket for. And then, you know, I have also my personal achievements. I learned how to model and improve uh, and remember that. And most of my discoveries and achievements are shown in the, on the YouTube channel. Yep, true. And uh, that is uh, that's it, actually. It's quite uh, quite a good CV, if you ask me. If you can just watch the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, the models actually turn around and turn like ooh fancy, so it's all fine. It's all fine and handy dandy, but uh, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, it, it is very cool, and I that that is like you know when you try to improve upon yourself and make sure that you're looking good when you try to look for a way to get uh get a company your attention. You know, it's it's always important to make it not boring it's important to keep their attention on the eyes of what the hell's going on and therefore you know it improves your relationship with them it's like if you have a flashy cv it says a lot of things without saying a lot of words it, it creates a better uh understanding between you he uh you uh you and i so if i would show if i would show the off project right now and i would say like well the off project is um it's a project about moth and hawks. It's a, uh, it's a thing that I try to do. Or I can just show you, like, hey, this is the Moffa project. Welcome to the Moffa project. If you if you look closely to the Moffa project, I already I, I am being busy with lots of things. Like you know, these these are the colors that I used for the Moffa project. In most cases, you know, all these all, all these achievements are actually quite extraordinary because you know I'm already busy with getting everything up and running like this. And you can now already see that yeah, these acts are gonna be uh, these acts are gonna be standing out quite good once I have the shading on the uh, on the on the tree as well. So um, I hope everybody likes it today and uh, happy Easter everybody because you know it is gonna be Easter soon and uh, I want to wish you all a lovely day today and uh, until the next time. Bye.